Yes, my people, good day. Customer state. When she start the car, it's shaking. I suspect a misfire. So this is how I check. What I do is put my left foot on the brake, put it in drive, and then with the right foot, give it a little gas. Hopefully you can hear it. So yeah, definitely have a misfire. Check engine light on. Okay, diagnose control unit. Read codes. Boom, check the code. See, cylinder four misfire. So now next step, we need to figure out what cylinder four is. That's where Google comes in. Check this. Let's go around to the engine. Can we see say it's on the passenger side, second one back. This is the first one back, the second one back. So two, four, six, and then eight in the back. One, one, three, five, seven on the driver side. So this is the suspect. You ready? Yeah, level step one. Get on your gloves, you know what I mean? Sure. These manicures on the weekend not cheap. Step second, these hoses here kind of in the way, but be very gentle with them. You don't want to raga raga these fittings too much because they're notorious league. So if you don't want to cooperate much, just work with it. Watch me kind of tuck it behind us a little bit. Just a little bit. Step next, kind of undo the plug carefully. Don't push back on it too hard. Then work off the spark plug boot. It's kind of wiggly. What size is this? Seven millimeter. Tool of champions. You know, I'm going to put a little anti seize on that. That's the old part. Does it look bad? Can't really tell by looking. Not all the time, still. Some, some of them you can, let them split on the side, but most of the times you can't. Here's a brand new part. It's just a practice I have. Even if it's not me who benefit from it in the future, I know that one of you guys out there going to benefit. So, yo, this gets on everything. So, you see that, right? So, you have to wipe that off. Let us do the reinstall. Quick job, quick job, quick job. Get it started. Plug in. All right. Putting this back on. All right, let's go clear the codes and start it back up and see if we fixed anything. <laughs> Sometimes you think you fix stuff and then surprise, I'm still here. All right, you see, you see, you see, you see, look, you see, but good thing, I'm not just making videos, you know, I am showing you that these things are real. I was just in there, you see that? <sighs> what did I tell you? Chevy, God bless him. All right, we're gonna clear the codes and then start up and see what we get. Clear DTC, all right, so we clear the codes. Check engine light off. Start up now and see if we fixed anything. And we still have a misfire. Hope you can hear it, something going on. Mm-hmm, all right. Gonna take a little bit more time. Let's go. All right, so let me unplug this one. Hear the difference in the engine? Listen. Hear that? Good. All right, so we know that this one's working good. Let me undo this one. No change. Listen. No change. I am going to put this one here. Which one easier to get? This look. So just to confirm if it is the coil. I'm going to put this one here and this one there. So if it is a coil now, this cylinder will start misfiring. And this one will be okay. But we just checked it. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Always something. It's all good though. We good. We good. We good. Mm -hmm. Why I did that is because 99% of the time it's the coil that goes bad. But there's that 1% like today when it's not the coil. Right, done. Ugh, which is in the way. This one covered by a bracket. Man, Pooh, I tell you. So we go, we switch in, we switch into this one. Man, one of the bolts are covered by this bracket. I, I do not feel like figuring out how to get that off. 
sometimes when you take a part off if you leave it in here like so it holds the bolt for you and you know i'm gonna put a little antices on that one <laughs> all right start this one going I'm not going to put it in all the way because I'm just testing. So I'm going to put this back on. Put this back on. I'll put the, the, the new coil over there. See if the problem travels with it. Oh, wait. Ah, man. When your tool falls from your equipment, one of the most rewarding sounds is when you hear it hit concrete or hit the dirt. But if you don't hear it hit, man, your heart goes to your mouth. All right, everything plugged back in. Now we're gonna start it up now and see if we still have a misfire. That don't make any sense because it is now running smooth and I still have the same components. I just move stuff around. Worst kind of problems to have when it fixes itself. I'll give it some more time because it will be sure to act up again. So I took it on a test drive, come back, it's misfiring again. Ugh. You can't hear it, you hear it. Unplug this one and see, see, nothing. Listen to this one now, unplug. I'm going to plug it in now, listen. You hear the RPMs change? So I still have a misfire located to this one. So I am going to switch wires next and see what that does. And you see this tool right here? Spark plug boot puller. Work awesome. Plug. Buckled. Look like the wire you know? and the wire come separate it. Look, see that? That didn't just happen. So that's it. We need a set of wires because this is a good one. I'm pulling on it. See, it's not coming out. 99% of the time it's the coil, but sometimes it's the wire or the plug. So there we go. 